What's up YouTube, my name is Alec and in today's video I'm giving you the ultimate buck guide for year 8. Let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to go over is Buck's loadout. Timestamps are below if you want to skip this section because I know most of you already know what he has. That being said, Buck has two primary options, the first of which being the C8 Assault Rifle and the second being the Cam RS DMR. Out of these two options, the AR is definitely the best. It has good damage, ammo count, fire rate, and medium to low recoil. One of the best things about this gun is that it comes with the option of a 1.5 time scope, which is widely considered to be the best scope in the entire game. Another tip about this weapon that you need to know is that you need to equip the laser sight on it. This makes the shotgun shells from your shotgun spread closer together, allowing for easier vertical playmaking and easier soft destruction overall. I played Buck for so long without knowing this. I would shoot vert or just try to make soft destruction in general vertically, and I would just have to use at least two shots to make any sort of holes, and I didn't know why. It's because I didn't have the laser sight equipped. So if that's you, put the laser sight on. Now going over his secondary weapon options, he has two of them the Mark 1 9mm pistol, and the Gon 6. Now, personally, I would always recommend bringing the Gon 6, especially because you already kind of have a secondary weapon, which is his shotgun. There's no reason to run the Mark 1 9mm, especially considering, too, that his primary gun has a lot of ammo in it as well. Having the added destructibility of a Gon 6 to destroy bulletproof utility with is always great, especially in a meta where there's a fair share of a zombie, Fenrir, and deployable shields, because everyone is playing Warden and Thorn. Now, finally, let's go over his secondary gadgets. He has the option between flash grenades and hard reaching charges. Now, I love the hard reaching charges, especially on Buck, because it allows him to play vertically on the site with soft destruction while also allowing him to get the hatches that are next to his vertical play at the same time, all in one operator, which is really good for a solo queue environment when you don't know if your teammates are going to be helpful enough to get the hatches with you. However, unless you know for sure that you're going to use it for a certain strategy, like I just pointed out, then you might as well just bring the flash grenades. These allow you to take space, create pushes, burn utility, and kill players if used correctly. And then finally, we have his primary ability, the skeleton key, the underbarrel shotgun. The skeleton key allows you to shoot a shotgun as an underbarrel weapon from his primary gun. In order to teach you how to use this ability properly, let's get into the next section of the video. First of all, I'm going to teach you all of the ways you can use this ability. Firstly, you can use it as just a shotgun. If people get too close, or if you run out of ammo in your primary gun, you can use his shotgun to kill people with ease as a close-ranged weapon. Mainly, however, you're going to use his shotgun for soft destruction destruction, shooting open wooden floors, walls, doors, ceilings, etc. You do this to create pressure and kill people through the holes that you make with your skeleton key. One thing that separates Buff from the other vertical play operators is he can play vertically from a range, which gives him an added layer of safety. He can stand back and open vert safely instead of having to be on his vert holes that he makes with the risk of a C4 or guns killing you like Sledge has to worry about, or he can even shoot through multiple floors or multiple surfaces to get angles only possible when you're playing Buck. This is called multi-level vertical play, or just multi-level vert for short, which is very, very useful. I'll bring you on to Cafe to show you more of what I mean right now. All right, so I have brought you on to Cafe, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of tips and tricks when it comes to Buck. So the first thing that I wanna go over is multi-level vertical play. So I did talk about this beforehand, and we're gonna go over it again right now. So with Buck, like I said, you can use his gadget from a range, which gives you a lot of advantages. So let's say that someone is actually in this room in train right now, and I'm trying to play vertical on him because maybe the site's down in mining or whatnot. It doesn't really matter. I'm just just trying to play vert on this floor right here if i'm trying to play vert on this floor right here and i'm sledge i have to go up to what i want to play vert on and then hit it with my hammer like that right actually let me turn my game volume down just a tad bit so you can hear me a little bit better uh so that being said you have to actually go up to what you're hitting with your sledgehammer which leaves you open for a nitro cell right there if someone's playing pulse or if someone just listens to where you're going they can nitro sell you with a buck it's not that big of an issue because you can stand on solid ground like right here and make the vert and you'll be just as good and you can still hold the angle too without any danger at all of a nitro zone so that is an advantage of buck and it's something that you should start abusing and there's tons of examples of this right if i come right here onto this floor completely hard but i can still play vert right here and shoot anybody in the little rotate here and train i can do the same thing if i'm repelled on a window right so if i repel on this window here and i play vert right here there we go. And now I can kind of see in that hallway as well if I upside down repel and I can kind of shoot people walking into this hallway. So either way, like you can use Buck's range very effectively and it has a very high skill ceiling on it. So it's something I definitely recommend you start abusing if you haven't already. One thing that I also want to see y'all start abusing more is the fact that you can do, like I said, a multi-level vertical play. So you can get right here and let's say that I want to play vert on people in kitchen all the way down into the first floor from the third floor. I can do that as Buck. I can stand here and do that. And now 
I can see people in kitchen from all the way up here and they, they're not going to be able to see me at all. They're not going to be able to shoot me and if they are, it's going to be very hard for them too because I have metal beams going this way and going this way on the first floor. So it's very hard for them to get bullets to where I am, but it's very easy for me to see where they are, especially if I crouch, just because of the way that perspective works in this video game. And you can do this for like most of the site down here, right? If I just do that, boom, now I have an angle onto here. And if I come all the way, let's say right here, now I have an angle right here into k2 right so there's just tons of angles that you can do with multi-level vertical play so i definitely recommend that you start doing it if you have not already the next thing i want to go over sorry about the beeping i didn't realize the bomb sites were down here but the next thing i want to go over is the fact that you need to start playing vertically very quickly and you never want to peek holes as soon as you make them and this goes for every single vertical operator this doesn't even just go for buck but every single person that plays vert you want to be making vert and then peeking it because if i make vert here and then I switch weapons and immediately hard scope it and peek it immediately. The person that's down here is going to have time to react. So if a person's sitting here and they hear vert go above them, they're just going to turn around and shoot you, right? So you don't want that to happen. You want to open vert, then move, then open vert, then immediately move, then open vert, then immediately move, then open vert, right? Make even a cool little hole here. You can watch coffee, move immediately, reload, come over here, make vert, reload go over here so they never know where you're coming from next and they can't shoot you as soon as you make the vert because you're running away and then because there's so many holes that you've made right you can go back to a number of these holes as many as you want and they're not going to know which one you're going to peek and you can catch most of them off guard and by surprise so that's something that you need to start abusing as buck and even on just most multi-level vert operators in general another cool example that y'all might have not just seen me done is you can play multi-level vertical through walls and floors instead of just floor and floor right so look at this i have an angle from the floor through the softball i can see anybody that's back sight down there let me see if i can somehow maneuver my drone down here i don't think i can no hold on okay we'll drive it down broad stairs so look at this if i'm a defender pretend my drone is a defender right and i'm sitting all the way back here like right here i can see that as buck i can see it now, let, me, let me drive it for a little bit right now. i can see my drone all the way in kitchen look at that angle you can barely see my head you're not killing me there i'm beaming you every single day of the week it's stuff like that right you can do the same thing if i make vert all along here right all along here and then i you know make a hole right here and i go to the top of red stairs i can have a huge angle on anybody back here i don't think actually that would work because there's metal beams like this but you get the idea you can make multi-level vert from pretty much anywhere and it's super 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 powerful so uh, that is all the things that i wanted to show you on cafe specifically because this is a really good map for vertical play and multi-level vertical play specifically so i'm gonna go over into the last tip section of the video and then we'll finish it out now that i've gone over some tips with buck in the example i just showed you i'm gonna go over his play style to better help you actually play him so going more in depth on Buck's actual playstyle, what type of player should you be when you play Buck? Should you be passive? Should you be aggressive? Should you be a flex, fragger, or a support? Which one? As Buck, you are meant to play a mid to passive flex operator. Now, this is very complicated and I'll break this all down for you. This means you don't play aggressively on the roam clear. You let your team do this. You let your Dokubi, your Lion, and your Jackal help roam clear and you let them take the gum tights before you. Instead, you follow them and play vertically in the space that they provide. Whenever they go to take space to roam clear, you then play vertically on the space that you want to play vertically on. Now, when you do this and when you play Buck in general, you need to play as a flex operator, playing aggressively on the vert once you have intel and your team is trying to push but playing passively on your vert watching angles and watching your flank when your team is also playing passively you need to kind of watch the flow of the round and the flow of your team and what your team is doing in order to be a good buck player to fit that and to further help your team out this is not only how you play buck but this is how you play every single flex operator for attack and defense you just give your team what your team needs whenever your team needs it it is by far the hardest role in the entire game to play because you have to know how to play passively and aggressively you have to know how to play as an entry and play as a support because you need to be playing both within the round depending on what again your team needs during the round which changes literally every 30 seconds so like i said you as a flex operator are meant to adapt to help your team's needs if they need kills if they need space and aggression create it if they need passive angle holding to get the plant down or flanks to be watched be that that is your job as a buck make vert and adapt your play style that's it. If you want to play a more aggressive style of Buck, which is honestly one of the more popularized versions of Buck right now, you can bring flash grenades and use flash grenades to create space, get kills, and when you create vert, it's a great option to help you secure those kills whenever the enemies are blind. With that out of the way, that is the ultimate Buck guide. If you want to get better at the game, join my Discord server down below for free coaching, sub to the YouTube, join the Twitch stream, follow me on TikTok, like the video if you liked it, my name is Alec, and I'll see you in the next video.
Later.